it's a carnival and everybody's showing up and having a good time because there they are having a good time. I mean, look at this weirdo. Look at this little fat kid right here. Oh my god, he's representative of all America right now. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Legend of Twilight Princess. In the last part, we made it all the way here. Bargain gave some guys some rupees, talked to strange little girls, gave them bugs. And in this part, we're going to go to the bar to have a drink and mead and winches. I, I, I want more winches. Hey, hey, one winches and mead. That's a sword child. This is beyond my expertise. Hmm. <laughs> Doctor, wait. Something isn't done. This child will... Well, this isn't good. A human doctor won't do, huh? Oh. That old coot reminded me, though. I've heard there's a shaman in Kakarako Village, in the Elden Lands, who tend to Gorons and Zoras. Is that true? Perhaps we could take him to there? <clears throat> Inadvisable. Too dangerous. But we can turn a blind eye to the pretty girl in need, either. Yes, we'd better escort you. Am I right, boys? <laughs> well, isn't that nice? To reach Kakariko, we gotta cross two plains that are each infested by dangerous beasts. But we'll be safe now. <laughs> Cowards! Don't ever show your faces here again! Hmm? Oh my! Looks like we've got a young swordsman left. And not only that, but it looks like this brave young man will escort us. So get ready to go, honey. Pronto! You know that girl, don't you? It's a real shame. She can't even remember her own name right now. Bless her heart. She found this poor boy collapsed in the road, so she did all she could to save him. More courage in that girl than in all the soldiers of Hyrule, for sure. You lend some strength to her, you hear me? So, you say the bridge to the west has been destroyed, huh? Then our only option is to cross the bridge to the east. You see what that means? You'll have to deal with that thing. Thank you so much for this. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? Snag? I will never in my life forget your kindness, Snag. Little lady, I think you'd best save your thanks until we're safe in Kakariko. This swordsman of ours has great eyes, honey. They're proud and wild, like a feral beast. We need a beast right now to keep the true ones at bay. If we make it to Kakariko safely, we'll just thank him then, okay?
You ready to roll, Snag? You gotta protect those young ones on the way to Kakarka. Okay, so what we gotta do right here is the mission is to bring this wagon all the way to Kakarko Village. And look at how far we have to go. That's over half of Hyrule. What the frick? So right now we're just gonna follow the path. It's pretty easy and basic right now. I think we have to go over this way. Am I right? I am totally right. I mean, it's clearly marked on the map, right? Um... What you want to have right now out is your boomerang and your uh, arrows. Trust me. Okay, it's your turn, honey. We're counting on you. Okay, so King Bublin's back, and we gotta take him on in Lake Hylia this time. So what you gotta do is he has two shields on both sides of him. What you have to do is actually aim in between his shields with the arrows. This can be a little tricky because you have to aim directly in front of him while charging dead on. It's kinda awkward to do this, but hey, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do for the hero after all. And you get the gate keys. These keys open the gates along the path of Kakariko. And that is the only time you'll be able to see that angle while Link is holding an item. It is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> nice, honey. Keep up the good work. This is where things get a little more complicated. That was actually pretty easy because you didn't have to protect the wagon at that point. But at this point right here, it's gonna get harder, to say the least. Okay, so we're just gonna cross over normal like, you know. Uh, there's a couple of beasts up there. We don't need the lantern out, quite honestly. But the thing is, uh, there's a whole bunch of archers out and you're gonna have to protect the carts as best you can. Keep up with it, too. Um, if it catches on fire like that, you want to have the boomerang go after it. Uh, yeah, lock on with Z and then, uh, shoot, hit the cart with the gale boomerang. That way the, uh, cart won't be on fire anymore. Because goodness knows we don't want that. Can I put away my freaking lantern? I don't want it. Seriously, I know it's dark and everything, but seriously, I don't want my lantern out. Thank you. I think you guys are able to see. Okay, since we got that key, now we're able to go through. And she's just gonna go through without waiting for us. Isn't that amazing? She's brilliant! I love her! She's the best cab driver ever! Okay, go. Now you can go. I'm giving you permission to go. Okay. This thing is gonna be pain in my butt, so I might want to take it out now, yeah. Hey! 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 Hi! Hi! Yeah, these guys on, uh, these boars right here are gonna be a pain in your butt if you don't take them out real quick. You're gonna be a pain in your butt, too. Hey, hey! Where do you think you're going, pal? Yeah, that's why I thought. You're going nowhere, son. God, they just come out of nowhere! Jeez. Hey. Watch it. Shoot! It's not that hard, to be honest with you. Okay, stop doing that! It's you. You keep doing this. Why do you keep doing this? I don't know. You're annoying as hell. You're annoying as the all get out. I swear to God. Okay. I don't know what's... I don't know why that's my new thing, the all get out. That doesn't even make sense. That's not even a proper terminology or anything. Okay, we're almost there. And, uh, we can almost make it. Uh, she can only... Hey, 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 hey! Hell no! Get away from that wagon. Whew, that was close. Open the gate! Link, open the gate! God damn it! Oh, thank you, retard! For the love of cheese, B, Tommy, B. Oh, you ass! Don't run away! I'm gonna beat the out of your fucking horse. I mean, your boar. Jeez, I know what a boar is. I know what a boar. Thank you. Jeez. Oh crap. 
God damn it! Opening this gate, you're going through, you hear me? You are going through. Are you serious? Come on, guys, seriously? Not cool. Okay. Sorry for the cussing, but I was like sweating and everything. Sweating bug shots, man. <coughs> He has passed through the worst of it. As long as he rests, he should recover in due time. Do you know the fate of his mother? He welfare consumes him. He has been mumbling deliriously about her almost constantly. I can see the knowledge grieves you. It must be an awful memory. I'll stay with him until he gets better. No matter how long it takes. Is that so? Thank you, Colin. Hey, Snag. About Leah. Is it true what they said about her? Yes. She has lost her memory, Colin. And regaining it will no, be no simple task. But it will be alright, child. If we just give her some time, I am certain that Leah will find her heart again. So, Colin, I'd like to ask you to stay in this village until then. It is our turn to show the courage that you have already displayed. Hmm. Nice to see there is still some hope there, and it's always good to see happy results repay your efforts. Those skills are yours. Any chance you're in the mind to put them to use for Hyrule? What hope is there in our kingdom is frail and dying, but there's still a group trying to do what it can. And I'm a member of that group. Call me Tell. I may just stay here a bit longer. I'm still worried about Leah. And, well, never mind about the rest. Snag, I want to see her again at my, you again at my bar. You hear me? That bar is actually kind of a safe house for my friends. There's a passageway that leads to the castle from in there as well. If you ever need anything, just stop by. And I'll be waiting for you, honey.
grateful for you, to you for aiding my son in his time of need. You are right to bring him here. Kakariko Village is a sacred place for Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband in life, King Zora, also rests his spirit here. It is no coincidence my son found his salvation in this place. That which I have promised you is within this grave. During his lifetime, my husband created garments specifically for the chosen hero, garments that the house the abilities of the Zora. And you got the Zora armor. This armor was handed down through the Zora family. If you have it equipped, you can fr freely move through the water, but you'll be more vulnerable to fire and ice attacks. Now at last, I can join the king in slumber. And yet, my son, he still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be brave and live on as the king of our people. And tell him his mother loves him to no end. Tell him. Well, it's a good thing you found all of your friends and picked up that nifty Zora armor. But aren't you forgetting something kind of important? That last few shadow? Remember what Pharaon and the Light Spirit said? He said you would need a few shadows to defeat the Dark Overlord Zant and save the world. So even if you go back with all the people you saved, the whole tragedy would just repeat itself. Let's go get it. We need to go to the temple on the lake bed of Lake Hylia. So, wait, you, they want me to wear the garments of this guy who died a long time ago? I'm wearing dead people's clothes. What the something? <laughs>